If you're planning to apply for a housing loan via PagEB or just want to try MP2 savings or just want to have access or monitor your PagEB contributions, start by getting a PagEB virtual account. If you don't want to have yet, I'll walk you through the steps, so be sure to stick around and watch this video. Hi, my name is Florante. I'm a full-time freelancer for the past 10 years. And if this is your first time to visit this channel, consider subscribing if you want to learn about the freelance life, productivity tips, and how to videos just like this. All this information are made for you for free. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to create your PagEbig virtual account. Now, before we get started, it's important that you prepare some of these things that you will need to complete the registration process. You need to have your PagEB MID number or member ID number. You also need to have your active email address, your mobile phone and mobile number, and two valid IDs. Now, once you have this ready, you have to go to this link. You can also find this link in the description. You just have to open this link in your browser. Now, once you are on the website, you just have to click on the create account button. There are three options to choose from. Now, in this particular tutorial, we're going to create my account online and activate at the nearest PagEV branch in my area. I'll go ahead and choose the middle option by clicking on the click here button. All right. In the PagEV virtual account creation window, you just have to fill out all the fields required. Once you have filled out all the information, click on proceed. Be sure that you have your mobile phone with you as you will be sent a one-time PIN to confirm your registration. Enter the OTP number sent to your mobile number and click on proceed. For the member information window, you just have to fill out all the fields in this window. Then choose the two valid ID cards you're going to use and upload a scan copy or a picture of your ID. For this tutorial, I used my postal ID and my UMID. And you're also required to take a selfie while holding one of the valid IDs you submitted and upload it by clicking on the select file button. Take the certification box and click submit. If your submission is successfully validated, the next thing to do is to go to your nearest Pagibig Fund office and request for activation. You will then receive an activation email that contains a link and your temporary password that you will use in the login page. So you just have to enter your registered email address and the temporary password, then click on verify. You will then be provided a new field to fill out with your new password. So be sure to have it written down or save in tools like one password or LastPass for easy access. Once you've completed that, you're all set. Welcome to Virtual PagEB. If you find this video helpful and would like to be notified when new videos are uploaded, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. Till next time, live the dream life without leaving the home.